Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be considering what the effect is of using a minor sentence. A minor sentence is a word, a phrase or a clause that acts as a sentence. To grammarians it's not technically grammatically complete, but because we can still make sense of it as readers because of the word, phrase or clause that's then punctuated with a full stop at the end, it is considered a minor sentence. Let me give you an example. If I were to say pain, brutal pain, agonisingly brutal pain, I'm referring to through the word, the phrase and then the clause, something that pushes you as a reader to consider more of the emotion of pain. So the minor sentence is really good at heightening the emotion of a situation. It's pretty direct as well and it leaves us with questions. But if I was to change tack slightly, many of the ways that we choose to interact in conversational English demand us using minor sentences. Just a one word answer like sure or your real questioning interrogatives like really all rely on minor sentences because they are simply just one word in response to something. Hit pause though if you want to consider the other effects before I share them. So what do you see as the effects on the reader? I wonder if you've got more than me, if so just link it in the comments below, it would be great to know what your thoughts are. Well, as I stated earlier, it definitely heightens emotions of a moment in the writing, especially when it's used occasionally or with let's say an emotion like pain, that being repeated through each of the minor sentences is really effective in heightening the sense that this pain is not going away. Equally with my first example, it adds intensity to the mood of a description. And it's a very good emotional shortcut to the reader's feelings. So Another key purpose is the way that it pushes the reader to make links around the connotations of the word, the phrase or the clause that's in the minor sentence. So we're forced to make connections. And that can act as a way to force the reader to make those connections that are powerful through a series of associated words that come across those minor sentences. Whether that's emotional words or statements, or just a series of questions, that sense of bombardment is quite important if you're trying to create an effect or an atmosphere for your reader. And finally, as it's not grammatically complete, we are left with questions about exactly what is being described, especially when it opens writing or it's narrating or questioning something. So at the start of a piece, using minor sentences can be incredibly powerful to push us straight into the action and also leave us hanging about exactly what we're dealing with. But equally, at the end of a paragraph or the end of a piece of writing, it can leave us a little bit unclear about exactly how things have ended and in a way act as a cliffhanger for us. Regardless, minor sentences are used all the time, whether that's in speech, in questioning and interrogation, or in writing to heighten emotion. But our job is to be able to understand its impact. And hopefully you've got some things here that can get you thinking about how you can use it in your own writing or when you find it in someone else's. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical.